Hi guys, Coach Suze here today, and I'm here to talk to you about collagen again. So, uh, collagen has been really popular in the past years, I should say. There's been claims made um, that it's so good for your skin and your hair and your connective tissue, and it's been really popular, popular additive to your coffee, morning coffee most likely, instead of instead of a creamer so um there's a lot of business around collagen supplements um and today we're here to look at the difference of whey protein and collagen protein when it comes to connective tissue um synthesis so uh studies on muscle protein synthesis so building new muscle comparing whey protein and collagen protein are pretty much they're out there, right? Uh, whey protein wins pretty much everything, right? Whey protein is so much better in building new muscle tissue um, than collagen protein. One of those reasons, um, probably the biggest reason here, is that uh, whey protein contains a lot more essential amino acids than uh, collagen protein. Uh, pretty much 13 grams for whey protein and five grams only for collagen protein. So um, whey protein pretty much wins here. So if we're comparing muscle protein synthesis and, uh, and whey and collagen, whey wins. But what they were testing here um, is uh, connective tissue synthesis. So basically your ligaments, your, your fascia, um, which potentially, um, based off of the amino acid profile, collagen protein should be doing better. Um, yeah, fast forward, it's not. <laughs> so we know that um, ingesting protein, so whey protein after the exercise, does not really affect connective tissue, um, connective tissue synthesis at all. Uh, but what they thought that because um, collagen protein has amino acids that are responsible for um, connective tissue uh, synthesis, it has a larger amount of those that it could actually be beneficial. Well, um, no, it's not. So in this study, they compared these two and they pretty much found out that whey protein and collagen protein don't really have any effect on connective tissue synthesis. So it's not really going to help repair you um, any, any ligaments or tendons or anything pretty much like that. Uh, it's not all doom and gloom, <laughs> don't really worry. Um, basically, there have been some signs that when it comes to reported joint pain, um, collagen protein potentially could be helpful, but that also has to go hand in hand with some physical therapy. So yes, collagen protein for now with the information that we have technically can be helpful when it comes to, um, comes to joint pain, but you also have to go and exercise and do your PT uh, assignments. So how to sum this all up? Um, I wouldn't necessarily throw away um, collagen just yet. I mean, I like to have it in my coffee in the morning uh, just because it's kind of easy to get some protein, uh, extra protein in if your protein intake is pretty high. What I just like to do is to make sure that I have it with my meals. So in your breakfast, breakfast coffee, for example, where we would kind of increase uh, increase that amino acid profile from other sources, um, maybe oats, maybe your nuts, uh, you know, whatever you're having with your eggs, doesn't really matter. Uh, so yes, what I like to do is to make the point that Yes, I still put collagen in my coffee just because it's convenient, um, and but I still make sure that I have it with meals so I can get all the benefits or it's just like enrich the, the collagen or uh, the amino acids and collagen with some extra ones. So I wouldn't throw it away. If you're used to doing that, if you're used to having uh, your coffee with collagen, 
feel free to keep doing that. Um, I mean, it's not going to hurt, but I should mention that whey protein has a lot better benefits uh, than collagen protein. So if we were to just compare those two without any additives or anything else, you're much better off with whey protein than collagen protein. But again, taking collagen with, you know, your meals and making sure that, you know, it's not just, it's not the only source of your protein daily. Um, pretty much make sure that you're, you're getting the benefits of everything. So yeah, hope this guy's helped. Um, yeah, feel free to keep drinking your collagen. Uh, just keep in mind that it's probably not the best source of protein for muscle protein synthesis or connective tissue uh, synthesis out there. Um, have a great day. I'll speak to you and someone else will come back with some other tips next week.